Enjoy is brought to you by Gondo Cosmetics and Societe Generale Ghana. do you get to meet a Grammy nominated musician? Well, I'm the lucky one today because I'm here with my very own countryman, Grammy nominated reggae artist, Rocky Dawuni. Rocky, it's an honor and a pleasure to be here with you. It truly is. Thank you, thank you very much. I mean, it's, um, it's, a, it's a huge thing for yes. both my career and also I think for our country. But for us to now be recognized on that level, you know, when it comes to you know, all the pundits of music and, uh, you know, voters in the Academy of Sciences, you know, that Ghanaian music really has gotten to a point whereby we are comparable in any place on earth when it comes to music. I think it's a great milestone and I am honored for that opportunity. And I think it's also uh, a testament to the innovative spirit of Ghana. You're gonna walk the talk and talk the walk. You're gonna walk the talk and talk the walk. You're gonna walk the talk and talk. My brothers and my sister. I was born in uh, Michelle Camp. You know, Michelle Camp. Yeah, in so Tema, that's a yeah. military background. Yes, here. yes, yes. I'm a pure <laughs> soldier man boy. Soldier you know? man boy. And uh, you know, the environment in which I grew up was it was a very disciplinary environment. I'm but at sure. the same time, military kids too. You know, we were, you know, we, we were exposed to a lot because our parents were traveling, you know, to Middle East at that time and then bringing in new music, you know, music that you couldn't find really in Ghana. But so it made the barracks a very interesting ecosystem of new sounds. And then that combined with the, all the traditional music and all the stuff that was on the radio. So all those things were kind of the formative, they were the foundations mm -hmm. and they created the, um, you know, the, 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 the inspiration for me when I realized that my voice, I could use my voice for music. I stood up on a rock on your holy mountains Beholding your beauty Overcame me like a song You know, from the time, you know, I was around five years old, you know, when... Five? Yeah, around five, when I just knew that music was something I wanted to do. And since then, I started forming, you know, my own personal songs. So I wouldn't sing it to <laughs> my friends, but I would start making up music, okay. you know. And I knew that that was my calling. Oh, and at the same time too, I felt that, wow, you know, as a musician, reggae will be an interesting genre to really kind of now open up and study, you know, so obviously I went to try and open myself, you know, trying to figure out a lot more reggae. But at the same time too, I was listening to a lot of our high life, yes. you know, a lot of our traditional music, mm -hmm. you know, you know, obviously the Afrobeat and high life of Nigeria was also seeping in, right. Felakuti and all that mm -hmm. stuff, you know. So these were all the styles of music that were part of my foundation, my formative okay. years. Okay. So it became really an integral part of me, you know. And I think now that the, you know, the minds of the world, you know, have really kind of seen in terms of my new album, Branches of the Same Tree, you know, people have heard, first of all, the real seamless integration of reggae, Afrobeat, high life, okay. and soul in a way that is tuneful, melodic, mm -hmm. and at, this, at the same time, at the same time, you know, genre and barrier breaking. breaking. It, African thriller, <laughs> We just had a concert last night. Yes, yes, it was. How did that go? I mean, it's 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 a concert that we are writing for the history books, mm -hmm. you know. So last night was just a packed night, powerful night. Yeah. 
a new time for Ghana. Yeah. You know, the curtains have been opened. Yes. Which artists on the local front? Are you watching as people who could potentially be Grammy nominees like you? You know, it's I've always tried not to choose sides. Okay. Because the stone that the builder refused shall be the head cornerstone. Mm -hmm. It's very hard for me to point to somebody, mm -hmm. but there's a lot of potentials. Mm -hmm. You know, we are last night. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. geez, you know, phenomenal. I mean, it's phenomenal musician. to do. And then we have a you know Stone Boy, you know mm -hmm. Samini. Shetawale, you know, E.L., Sakodie, yeah. Guru, you know, Ochiame Kwame, yeah. you know, I mean, I can name a whole lot. <laughs> An amazing musician and he is great. I'm enjoying myself and I'm glad to be here. And I'm so excited to be here supporting Rocky Dooney. He is the epitome of you know what Ghanaian music is. I have to come and support my brethren in that and support reggae music. Not to mention that Rocky is also now currently nominated for a Grammy which takes Ghana music, reggae music in Ghana to higher, higher heights, and we love that to the bone. This is the Grammy-nominated album. This is the. branches of the same tree, our, 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 the pride of Ghana. The pride of Ghana. Ghana. This is what did it for us. You the so, Grammy-nominated album. So, you know, it's uh, everybody should support, you know, whoever hasn't gotten the album, you know, we're going to make sure that it's available everywhere in Ghana. So get a copy of our you know our notch in history and um it's it's really an honor it's really an honor to be here this program has been sponsored by gando cosmetics and societe general ghana enjoy